So one of the most common questions I get is, I got a tree, it was planted by somebody else, and it's just doing terrible. There's two things I know is number one, there are actually industry standards on how to plant a tree. Number two, hardly anybody knows they exist. And of course, they're not gonna follow them if they don't know they exist. So I wanted to show you one cool trick called radial trenching. And it's gonna blow your mind how much better your tree does after you perform this simple task. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. All right, so three things you're gonna want. One, shooter shovel. This is gonna be your go-to tool. Number two, you want some good organic compost. Don't get the colorized garbage. You want a good organic source, something where they've actually treated it to make sure it's safe. And number three is, this is actually optional. This I love, it's called MicroLife. This is one of the most potent biological fertilizers I know of. Let's get after it. All right, so we got our work boots on, we got our safety glasses on, we're ready to rock and roll. So essentially what we wanna do is take the original planting site. If they were to do it right, they would have gone two to three times the diameter of that. But most guys don't, like I said, they don't even know those standards exist. And so what we have to do is we have to give a path for the roots to grow and for the water to drain out. Otherwise water can sit in there. And so if you don't have oxygen in your soil, Essentially, the trees are drowning. So we want to eradicate that with this radio, radio trenching. So what we're going to do is take where the original planting site is approximately, draw lines in a hub and spoke pattern radiating away from that area. And we're just going to do that all the way around the trees. Now, the wind was crazy, y'all, so I decided to dub over this. But essentially, what we want to do is we want to go two to four inches wide on each trench and about six to eight inches deep. And that what this is going to do is allow clear paths for the roots to go. And because we're doing this all the way around the tree, that's really going to push and encourage the roots to grow in a radiating pattern and to create a strong support system as well as a big net for it to capture all the resources out there. Now we have the added bit of it because we're going vertically into the profile and we're backfilling with compost that this is actually going to help amend the soil surrounding it over time and just create a really healthy living condition for the tree. Now additionally, we found this little root in here and the root was dead and the reason it died is because it got to the edge there, there's no oxygen in the, in the existing soil and so it just desiccated, it killed it off. All right, and then we're gonna take our organic compost and we're just gonna dump it right in that spot. But basically what we've done here is we've created a little trench that's gonna be just filled with microbial activity, oxygen, and eventually your tree roots as well. Now, wanna take it a step further, take some biological fertilizer like this MicroLife 846 and just sprinkle it along in there and then go ahead and cover it back up. And again, that's gonna create just a really beautifully healthy spot for those roots to chase after that. They're gonna just, just go right for it. Come in, fill that in that area. Now they've got a lot of surface area that they can break through into the existing soil. Last step, we're gonna very simply just take some water, go and water it in real good. So after you're done with your radial trenching, the thing you wanna look for is the actual distance between each leaf node. And you can see here, we've got two buds they're very, very close together, very close together. Everything's really close together. If the leaf is functioning, it's gonna produce the carbohydrates and sugars that become the basic building blocks for all that woody tissue. The wider the gap between the leaves and the bigger the leaf surface area, oftentimes is a good sign that your tree is growing and thriving and functioning on a high level. That's very important. So, hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned a, a little bit about how to take a tree that's struggling, that you just put in the ground or that somebody else planted for you and really get it to grow and thrive because those first few years are very important for getting the root system established and setting the foundation for your trees to grow and thrive and provide all those benefits that we have trees for. Hey, thanks again for watching. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this and share it with all your cool friends. That'll really help the algorithms to push this out there and help that many more people. Because here's the thing, if it's good for trees, it's good for people. You and I need trees more than we like to admit. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.